so I've begun plasti dipping uh, the fenders in the tank on the uh, soft tail here. Um, I'm going to probably do about two to three base coats of just the uh, regular plastic dip white and uh, then about two or three more coats of the uh, pearlizer. So the uh, tank has just got the first coat on it now. Um, so actually I've got the fender pretty much done. I'm still going to need some touch up on the, uh, the black paint areas where I pulled the tape and it chipped but the pearl really looks kick ass. So. It's kind of, it's obviously got to be like cleaned up a little bit, but that's what that looks. And I'll show you guys here. This is the uh, the pearlizer. Kind of see the difference with the the can tops, the pearlizer, and the regular uh, white. So, anyways, we'll uh, check back in here in a little bit. All right, guys. Here's another update. We are now three base coats of white. And this is the first top coat of pearl. You can already start to see the, uh, the pearl coming out of it. I did not sand the emblems down underneath. Um, the tank actually is in very good condition, so I wanted to preserve that. Um, I mean, honestly, this whole plastic dip process is more of kind of like a tester to see if I'd like the uh, black and white contrast of the bike. Uh, I was actually at the local Harley dealer, and they uh, they had a pretty sweet. I guess it's called denim white. <clears throat> it was uh, <clears throat> not necessarily uh, pearl, but it had the same kind of look I was going for with the satin uh, tank and fenders and all black everything else. So kind of like a tester to see if I'd enjoy it with a white bike. But uh, that's it. <clears throat> I'm gonna put probably one more coat of pearl on uh, either side of the tank, and then probably call it a day and pull all this off and wipe down all of the uh, inevitable overspray. dip you want to make sure um, obviously prior to setting up that none of the tape or uh, plastic touches the uh, surface of what you're gonna be painting because if plastic dip goes and sets up it's gonna stick to anything that you painted and you may pull up the uh, product you just put down um, as a precautionary what I'm doing here I'm just pulling down away from it just in case it does stick um, you just want to kind of pull down against it um, I did put tape in certain areas. I was this fuel line here where I didn't want. Um, and exactly what I'm talking about is going on right here. So you can see here where I masked it off or attempted to, the uh, mask actually touched the plastic dip. So what I do is pull kind of away as not to rip off the plastic dip. You can see a little bit in the corner where it pulled right here that edge right there pulled out a little bit but that's going to be behind there so not a huge deal um let's pull that off that's basically what she looks like not too shabby if i say so myself pull that wheel off again this this entire bike uh is for the most part stock there's nothing really done to it uh just done a lot of paint i gotta admit that white is looking uh Pretty awesome with the uh, all black setup. Uh, one thing I do want to do is uh, I will be taking the uh, top end of the engine off and doing those like a, the same coating as the exhaust here. Um, but that'll be a, another video. But that's it right there. So there's the uh, pearl white plastic dip. Um, I will be keeping it for obviously a little bit probably go for some rides and keep it as is see how I like it um, I was either between this or like a satin uh, charcoal gray um, either one kind of what I'm wanting to do on the tank is I'm wanting to do like a maybe some old-school letters or some type of 
Uh, there's actually a helmet that Harley sells that has HDMC for Harley Davidson motorcycles, obviously, but maybe do like HDMC or even the uh, the Willie Skull emblem on the side. Um, once I figure that out, well, uh, obviously that'll go on there and shoot a clip on that. So there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking taking this off here. Doesn't look like anything was touching on this side, so we're good. There she blows. You can kind of see the pearl already on the sun there. Guys. All right, guys. Here's a quick little wrap up of today. Um, this is basically what she looks like after getting put back together um, with the uh, placidive white with the pearlizer on top. Got the fender back on. Um, obviously, you can tell this seat is really bothering me now. So we'll be getting one of those here in the near future. Same with the top of the engine. Not digging the chrome, but uh, overall, I think it came out good. I um, guess we'll see how long I keep it with pearl white on there. Um, overall, I think it came out pretty good. Um, I'll do a little quick walk around, and there you have it. Same with the chrome handlebars. Probably gonna get some black drag bars. Same with the exhaust. There you have it. Thanks for watching.